Welcome to the new look of ResNet. When logging into ResNet, this is the landing page you will see. On this page, you'll find information about each of our club locations, including parking, restaurants, docking instructions, and more. You'll also find information about our newsletters. There you'll find the link that will take you to previous newsletters and other information the club provides. There's also information about our new referral program. When going back to the top of the screen, you'll see buttons across, reservations, info, and a map. Let's go to the info button. Here you'll find information once again about the club locations, reciprocal reservations, and also some questions and answers about wait lists. Please note that the 2023 season brings a change to how members can request a spur of the moment reservation. Staff will no longer be using the waitlist in ResNet. We have created a member blog which will announce spur of the moment boat availability, training tips, and much more. Please look for additional information about our member blog in our newsletter. Now let's go make a reservation. Click the reservation button. Here you'll see the locations. You'll see if you have any upcoming reservations, they will be listed here. Let's start by making a reservation in Bridgeport. Go to the date that you would like to reserve a boat. I'm going to select May 16th. Real Trouble is available on May 16th, and you'll see that the session is one session only. From May 12th, the club's opening day, until May 22nd, there will be one session only offered. Beginning May 23rd through the season, we will have our normal two sessions per day. So let's make our first reservation. Once you click on the reservation button, you get an exc exclamation about the boat. You'll select the date you would like to depart. Although the session time starts at noon, you can select a later time. I'm going to select 1 p.m. I'll leave the time for return as it is. You'll need to add how many adults will be on board how many children, and any notes or requests you may have for staff. Simply cl click Create Reservation. Here you'll see now it's telling me I have one reservation booked. Now if I go back to the reservation page, it tells me my upcoming reservations. Let's book one more reservation. This time I'm going to select Rye. I'm going to select May 28th. And here you will see the two session options plus a full day option. Keep in mind when you do make a full day reservation that will count towards two of your reservations. I'm going to select 3 p.m. Once again, you'll see information about the boat. You'll need to select what time you'd like to check out. I'm going to select 4 p.m. And the reason why we ask members to do this is so staff knows when you'll be arriving on the dock. 
Coming back, normal time. Once again, you'll select how many adults will be on board and how many children. Select Create Reservation, and your reservation is booked. Now going back to the reservation page, you'll see now I have two upcoming reservations. To cancel any of the re reservations you have, simply click the Cancel button. Are you sure you want to cancel? Yes and it's done. And that leaves me with my one reservation remaining.